Okay, this is VETT 220, task 34, um, which is placing a stomach tube in a canine patient. We're going to go ahead and use the alternative method and just um, pretend with a patient here um, that we're going to place that tube. So I um, have my tray of supplies here that I'll zoom in on. So we have our stomach tube here. This is our extra long one for a large canine patient. We have um, a syringe of barium in quotes. That would be if we were going to administer um, barium via this orogastric tube. We have 60 mils of air to check to make sure it was in the actual stomach. Same thing with the 5 mils of sterile saline. We have um, a little bit of that wrap to mark our tube um, when we measure it. We have some sterile lubricant put out here on our towel and we have a roll of the two inch gauze to use as an oral speculum. I have my assistant properly restraining the dog. We're gonna go ahead and first thing, we're gonna measure the tube. So it's gonna be from the stomach, which would be down here on your right side, all the way up to the tip of the canine here. And I'm gonna mark that with our butt wrap. That would be a safe length to insert the tube to. So we have that mark. And we have our oral speculum that we're going to insert. So the patient's going to be gently restrained here while we do so. Good girl. And then I'm going to have the assistant just hold that oral speculum in place. We're going to go ahead and lubricate our tube with our sterile lubricant over here. Okay, so we have that lubricated. We're going to go over back to our patient here. And since this is a simulation, I'm not actually going to put this tube into the dog, but I would show you the same way. So it would be going through this oral speculum. Um, you're going to want to stay ventral so that you're not in the trachea, you're actually in the esophagus. You would place it down into the esophagus. At this point, you can be feeling um, the esophagus and the trachea at the same time. To know that you're in, you're going to feel two tubes. So the opposite of intubating into the trachea, you only feel the one tube. Here you're going to palpate and feel this gastric tube in the esophagus. So you'd be inserting it slowly until you reach your pink marker here. And you would go ahead and instill 100, well, we have 60 here. 60 mils of air into the tube. Okay, hold that off. And then you would install your five mils of sterile staining into the tube here. Okay, and that would go down in the stomach. Then you would go ahead and take a listen with your stethoscope and you would hear gurgling down in the stomach if it's in place. So if we have found that it's in place, we're going to go ahead and administer our barium. Say we we're using this for a barium series. So you want to go ahead and administer your barium via the top here. And then once it's in and you've expressed the entire contents, you're going to kink it off and remove the tube in one motion and remove that oral speculum.